Hi, this is just a quick demonstration of some of the new features in Google Forms that were rolled out uh, about the second week in October 2015. I'm going to create a new form by selecting New, More, and then Forms. You can see that I have the new user interface of Forms right here. It has a purple background. If you're still using the old Forms, there'll be a menu bar across the top. Um, and there should be a link for you to, um, to move to the new Forms. You can see that there's, uh, although the functions are the same, the menus are in a different place. So that's the main thing to get used to. I can title my form by just clicking on Untitled Form. I'll name this Practice Form. I can put a description of the form if I choose. After I put a title, this changes to, I can't edit that first question. I'll have to click on it to edit it. can title that question. Right now, the default is to have that as a multiple choice question. can also choose short answer. This used to be called text. Um, multiple choice, check boxes, and this was a uh, list, I think, before. Now it's called drop down menu. Uh, the scale and the multiple choice grid are the same. So I can select my question type from there, or over here on the right is where I add a new question. I can add a header, just a title, which would be kind of a section header if I wanted to make different sections in my form. This is also where I could add an image or a video into my form. And also to put a, a section header here. Another change is that I have a link to my responses right here within my form. I can turn off and on here where I am accepting my response. This is where I create a spreadsheet for my responses. I can have, create a new spreadsheet or I can select uh, an existing spreadsheet to put my responses into. I'm going to create a new one. And that's where I, I, if I had responses, I could look, for, they would show right up in this window right here. They don't, I, won't, I wouldn't need to open a new tab. I can turn off my um, form off and on by selecting this accepting responses button right here. And I have some other options to my form format right here. I could select where I want the form to go. I could unlink form for my spreadsheet. And I can also download my responses from the CSV into a CSV file. And I can delete all responses. So those are those buttons there. And I can go between my responses and my questions right within the same window, which is a really nice added feature. To change the look and feel of my form, there's this new little palette up here in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, by selecting a different color, it changes a simple theme of the form. I don't have the option anymore of changing the font. I can just change the color. I do have an option of adding a header to my form. There's different categories of illustrations over here that I can add. And there's also the other category. I can select that. It does will change the background color as well as the header. It has a background color that matches, theme that matches that. I can also upload uh, my own photo by going down to here to upload photos, or it will go to my Google Plus albums. This little eyeball is for previewing my form to see what other people will see. It will open that in a new window. And here is, are the settings for my form. This is where I set who can respond. Usually I sent this to anyone. You can make it just for Nebo, people in Nebo School District, but it would have to be employees, not students, because it would just be people in our domain. And it would require them to log in uh, to complete the form. The advantage is that they it would collect their email address. This is where you edit your confirmation page. If you don't just want it to say your response has been recorded, if you want to give them a specific mes message after they submit the form. And then uh, options for after respondents um, uh, 
they that what link will show after they submit their form. I'm going to save those options. Then when I'm I also have some more options over here to the right. If I want to make a copy of my form, delete it, uh, print it out. Maybe you want to deliver an online survey and there's still some of your students that don't have access or parents that have access uh, to complete it online. You can print out a copy for them. Adding collaborators if you want to, if you're creating a form, um, a shared form that maybe you're creating as a team, you're going to send the same form home. That's where you would add kind of the sharing option there. And this highlights some of the things that I've told you today about what's new. So that's that little three dot menu here. When you're ready to send your form, click the send button, select who can respond to your form. You can send it in an email. You can it looks like they fixed that. It's just going to send a link to the form. I've chosen to email my form out. I would add the recipients in the to box. And then notice that my I don't have to open up my email. I can put in a subject. Try to spell it right. And click send. If I don't want to send it out an email, I can just get a link to the form. If I wanted to put it uh, at, on a poster or send it home in a newsletter or whatever, or I can also embed my form into um, a website or a blog. That's about all there is to it. Your form will save automatically and be found in your Google Drive. Hope that helps. Bye.